This is like finding bonus nuggets in your 10-piece chicken nuggets, except the nuggets are extra tips for the finals. These are going to be deeper, more advanced tactics than what I covered in my previous guide, like how to harness the built-in momentum system, a few parkour tricks, strong damage synergies, and some other stuff you'll definitely want to be aware of and know how to counter. I'm Alex, welcome or welcome back, and let's get into it. First up, don't be a nauseating stair sprinter. We've all been there, done this at some point. A faster, more skillful way to go from one floor to the next is to look back and up and hold the jump button as you exit a window to transition into grabbing the higher ledge. It takes a bit of practice to get it consistent, so I'll slow the footage for you. This trick is a very quick way to go directly up to the next higher level though, if you don't have any other traversal options. This works not just out of windows, but almost anywhere where the other level is directly above you. Oh, by the way, you can also look up and jump before the end of the ropes to skip to the top level of these hanging platforms. Next, C4 can be thrown, but not super far. However, if you slap it onto an interactable object, you now have just created a long-range delivery service for that volatile explosive. Hold sprint before throwing the object, and you can send this even further than normal. Hey, look at that, I just demolished into a heart. On purpose, put C4 onto one of the orange flammable barrels, and you just assembled an even larger explosive in a matter of seconds. If you crouch or slide before throwing these, you can kind of roll it instead, and then detonate it whenever you want. Attach C4 to a green barrel for a poison explosive, or onto one of the red barrels for the fastest delivery method. Trickier to time the detonation though. All of these will let you use C4 a bit more offensively, which can catch people off guard, and this is really just scratching the surface of what kind of shenanigans you could invent. Wait, a special message from the Phantom Thieves. This has been sponsored by Atlas, which is a personal favorite of mine since they're the ones behind the Persona series, like the new Persona 5 Tactica. This is a turn-based strategy RPG that continues the story progression of the Phantom Thieves. If you played Persona 5, this is an absolute must-play, I'm saying that. Or if you're brand new to all this, it's the perfect entry point since it quickly familiarizes you with the entire squad. Tactica has all the Persona-isms that make the series so endearing and addictive, like Persona Fusion to turn multiple Personas into beefier brand new ones, character building, team synergies, and a story that has just that right amount of weird to it that keeps you glued into what's gonna happen next. There's a lot of depth baked into its battle system, and I'm a big fan of the triple threat mechanic this has in it, where you can create a large damaging area of effect that's influenced by the space in between each party member. Now if this is looking like your kind of thing, use the link I have down in the description or in my pinned comment to grab a Persona 5 Tactica on PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, Nintendo Switch, or PC. Don't sleep on this one, it's better than I even conveyed in this ad read I just wrote for it. Let's talk about the momentum system and how you can use it to your advantage. A basic example of it in motion. Instead of sprinting into a jump pad, try sliding into it to increase your forward momentum and travel further. This slide bonus even works when the heavy has their shield raised. The light class can use their grappling hook into jump pad, which will propel them even further than the slide method. Same goes for the light's dash ability if timed right before you enter the jump pad's area of influence. This is pretty useful for traversing the map quickly or for getting the literal jump on people who thought they were completely safe. They were not. Momentum carries with you as you jump off of zip lines, which can be chained into a jump pad to, you guessed it, travel even further. Jump pads seem to build momentum between them, so jump pad into another jump pad is a solid way to keep your speed boost going. You can also bunny hop upon landing with forward momentum to maintain the speed for a moment, which works better if you land into a sloped surface. Sliding while landing with momentum works as well, which gives you just enough time to throw down a jump pad while keeping that speed. If you start to combine all of those effects, angled jump pads, slopes, zip lines, bunny hopping, and sliding, you can travel across the entire map pretty seamlessly. Next, similar to the C4 trick, mines can be placed onto objects to greatly increase the range in which you can throw them. This works with random things like potted plants, a comfy seat, or of course, those explosive barrels. 
This is a good way to deal a double hit of damage or combine mine effects with different types of barrel effects. Attaching multiple mines onto these canisters will actually weigh them down, slowing their forward momentum. You can also use non-explosive items purely as long-range delivery methods for planting your mines. Look, they were over there, now they're delicately placed nicely over here. Another thing I like to do with mines is a little dirty, but worth trying. You can attach mines directly onto people's death statues in hopes someone tries to revive them or pick up their statue. This does exactly what you think it does, a little punishment to other players just trying to be helpful teammates. Next, a few structures you can easily build when you're playing as the heavy. The first one, I call this setup the Big Bunker. Place a single goo puff, put a deployable shield right in front of it, and then another one on top of the goo a little more towards the front. Then you can step up onto the goo like a little platform and have a higher elevated position to shoot from, with the majority of your body protected from the front. The next setup I have for you, I call this one the turtle shell. One application of goo, crouch and put an angled shield as low as you can get it while you're underneath, and then close yourself in from the front with another shield. Individual panels can be knocked out from these shields, so manually open one yourself so you can shoot through it. Now you have a highly protected outer shell and the recoil bonus from being crouched the entire time. If you want to stop being turtle, just pick a shield back up. You could also add an extra barrier to this if you're trying to maximize the cheese. Now to close this out, a few rapid fire bonus tips. Fire of course beats out goo. Smoke beats fire since it instantly puts it out. Fire beats poison, extinguishing it immediately. Oh, and fire beats human, poison beats human, and bullet beats human, just to make sure we're all on the same page here. Over on the light class, the knife's alternate attack actually criticals if you use it on someone's back. Use the quick bash button to cancel out of some of the longer melee attack animations for a fast follow-up. And with the knife, that can pretty much insta-kill heavies in the back. That's a little payback for all the times they splatter you with a single rocket. And this last one is the most useless. Hold the red barrel directly up without moving and then drop it while moving out of the way. That stands it upright but upside down. Jump on, shoot it, and you can ride these, kind of. This gets you a little bit of hang time, which is probably only useful if you're trying some trick shots or something. If you manage to use this in an interesting or epic way, shoot me the clip over on Twitter at BoomstickAlex. I want to see what you come up with. And that about wraps this one up, but just like my last video on the finals, flood that comment section with other unorthodox tricks you guys have figured out. A big thanks again to Atlas for sponsoring a section of this video and for hooking me up with Persona 5 Tactica. That's really all I'm playing right now, Tactica then the finals, Tactica finals, solid combo. Alright, that's all I have for you today, I'm Alex and I'll see you next time.